see you. Right. You're about to play a gig at the O2 Academy in Islington in London today. Um, when was the last time you played a gig in London? In October last October year. Last year. Yeah. Okay. Had a show here on the UK tour. Mm -hmm. And who are you playing with? Uh, on the last, on the tour. Yeah. Uh, me and uh, System FX and two other bands. Did you enjoy that? Um, oh, it was amazing. Yeah? It's been my dream to play London since I was a little punk. Oh, here really? In Denmark, yeah. Okay. So I was really happy that it was quite full. Fantastic. Um, could you uh, tell us a little bit about the history of Leather Strip and uh, how you formed, or how you decided to, to start making electronic music? Yeah, um, in about 94, I uh, bought a synthesizer just for the fun of it and I just got hooked on it and started writing small songs on a double cassette, uh, mostly techno pop stuff. Right. And uh, then I just got hooked and grew more and more into a passion and uh, uh, a dream about recording albums. So, in uh, I joined different groups, mostly pop, techno pop stuff, um, but I never really felt uh, that it was the right spot for me. So uh, I started uh, experimenting a little bit, and, and that started Leather Strip in about '88, and I got a deal in '89. Fantastic. So. Which uh, which label was uh, your first signing? That was uh, South Amok, the German label from Frankfurt. Okay. I actually got signed uh, to two places. I played against Sam in Belgium and and, uh, and South Amok in Germany. So I had to pick. Uh, so you had a choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I only set out three tapes: one to Mute and one to the two other labels. And Mute said no. So All right. <laughs> It's not, not often that um, artists get a choice of labels to join. Uh, what made you choose the label uh, you did? They felt uh, it was more dedicated to the electronic side. Right. Played against them, had more guitar stuff, and, and I liked the idea that it was like a, a label dedicated to a style. Fantastic. Um, so you mentioned that you were into techno pop at one point. I um, still am. Sorry? I still am. You still am? Oh, okay. <laughs> Who would you say your major influences are in music from My the My first 80s? real influence in synth music was Fat Gadget. Then all the whole new romantic scene started to, 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 to blossom, but uh, I was the only one around in school <laughs> with eyeliner and, and long jackets and stuff. Yeah. But, um, I know how that feels. I was the whole new age, uh, new wave feel. Uh, inspired me the most. Okay. And soft sell also, of course. Brilliant, okay. And yeah. um, where, where would you say most of your favourite musical icons are from? Or is there no real pattern to it? Well, Britain. Britain? Yeah. So you've got... Pesh mode, soft cell... Infinity with 80s electronics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so could you tell us a little bit more about your last release? That was a soundtrack called Dark Passages. The movie's not finished yet because they had some financial problem, but... Uh, it has been a dream of mine for many, many years to do a soundtrack. Sounds right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that was out in November, and the album before that was Mental Slavery. More, not a leather strip album. Brilliant. Okay. Talk a little bit about the aesthetics of, um, of your band. It's a very distinctive logo. Uh, what made you choose that as a logo? Uh, because it's a Danish leather, uh, and I decided, you know, leather strip, just a, a normal writing, mm -hmm. and the word, uh, the, the the sound a, that's the the, the logo's uh, sound, the, the, the leather sound, and uh, it looks good as a logo. Yeah, <laughs> so I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and um, that brings me to the name of the band. Uh, why did you choose Layer Strip? It's also a coincidence. Um, uh, originally, it was called just Strip, and but everybody told me that it was crap. <laughs> 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 okay. Actually, after Adam Ant song. Oh right. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, and um, 
and I just put leather in front of it and decided to write it. So. Really? No, no deeper meaning. Okay, it's fine. I didn't want, want a typical electronic name, mm. just like from some sci fi movie <laughs> or something. <laughs> so. Okay, um, you mentioned a bit about Adamant there. Um, mm. What's your favourite Adamant song? Car Trouble. Car Trouble. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Deutsche Girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, Klaus, you've obviously done quite a few interviews in your time, um, but is there any specific question that you've never been asked that you wish you had been? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, can't think of any. Oh, God. Uh, normally, actually, interviewers try to avoid my sexuality, which is a big part of my, uh, my, my songwriting. Okay. It, was, uh, it kept me out of... Uh, trouble in, in, in my teens because I was in the closet then and mm. living in a farmer area you, you couldn't just mm. come out so yeah. I, was, I, was, I was using my music for, for, for release from, from that. Thank you. You, uh, you mentioned earlier that your life set up on stage is about to change, uh, notably with the addition of your husband um, on synth. Tell us a little about that and how it came about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's a very shy, but uh, I've tried a small gig in Copenhagen where he, he came on stage uh, uh, to do the keyboards for me, and it worked really well and he liked it, so... Okay. How long have you been together? Since 94. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Married since 98. 98. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. okay, finally, is the world going to end in 2012? I hope not, because I'm working on a really good album. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, uh, I just finished a Clue album, my side project, and it will be out in the summertime. And I'm started to work on the next Dallas Strip album, and it will be a really melancholic uh, album where I'll go back to my more uh, darker synth pop uh, sound I, I used to work with in the 80s. So I've been wanting to do an album like that for many years. But so after the Clue album, which is really aggressive, I really felt like doing something really mellow and and where I sing like a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, well, it's been a pleasure to meet you, and uh, I hope the show goes well. Thanks, mate. No problem at all. Thanks.